hi there so far the cube that we have built we have uh, had measures uh, around the dimensions we have built several uh, several measures but the only thing we have uh, we have seen is the dimension that we have that is the product date or employee each of these three have a direct foreign key relationship with the fact and the measured uh, indices that we have created now the world is not always as easy which means the star schema is not the always uh, option that you would encounter in your uh, data warehouse so you might have a snowflake uh, dimensions also so what we will learn is uh, we will learn the reference relationship in the dimension on, and how we model that into our cube uh, and and then evaluate our measures so we will we'll learn reference dimensions here in this uh, blog so to do so first of all let's go, uh, go back to uh, uh, and take a look at the database so currently we have uh, built uh, we have measures on the Faxit Internet Sales sales. So we have seen uh, if we uh, take a look at Faxit Internet Sales, we have built uh, around three dimensions. Again, the employee date and and the product. Now, if we take a look at this uh, dimension, what we would see, uh, we have a dim geography dimension. What this uh, has is it has the city and the country uh, based basing with uh, on the geography key and this table is not directly related to fact internet internet sales in any ways uh, what it is uh, related to is actually customers so this would be one example that we would pick up and see how we can use reference dimensions so if we take a look what we have in, in fact internet sales is it has a for it has a foreign key relationship to the customer key uh, that's what we we see here so uh, to the dim customer table so we uh, again if we take a look at the dim customer table we can see that this has a foreign key relationship uh, on the geography key now to derive uh, the sales amount on a particular geography region uh, for the city or the region uh, what we would uh, have to do is uh, we do, since we do not have a direct uh, foreign key relationship between the uh, uh, geography dimension and the fact internet sales we would uh, try to create a reference dimension so we can consider this uh, join and then we can derive for each of the product key the city and the respective uh, country where this was this product was actually sold this would be one example which which uh, we can typically pick up and see so what we would call this is we would call the geography uh, dimension to, uh, to be snowflaked because we could ideally if we want this to we can as well incorporate all the data in the form of a view from the geography into the customer table directly and then we can uh, use that to link in the fact internet sales but we are trying to know the reference dimensions here so let's uh, take this example and, and, and let's see how we can uh, do this in the cube development itself so to do so let's go back uh, I'm going back to my data source view uh, let's try to add the geography dimension so I add this and we will have to add the customer dimension so let, let's add each of these as we can see there is a there is a foreign key relationship so let's see we cancel this out so we have a foreign key relationship already existing so now we move on after adding these these two tables into our geography uh, into our data source view we go and first of all we have to build new dimensions so we say new dimensions next uh, use an existing table and we say next we get to the customer dimension or let's uh, build the geography dimension first and let's select the city and the English region name that's all 
and let's call it let's call this dimension as geography and let's say finish now let's try to create a hierarchy quickly and let's call it city let's call it region hierarchy and it's okay since it's it says okay so we go to the properties and we set this to false attribute hierarchy visible to false for both of them and this squiggle should, should be gone let's process this let's go to the browser so each of uh, right so each of the cities are properly aligned now what we do is we go ahead and add new dimension so let's go ahead and add use an existing table sorry and let's add the customer we uncheck this since we've already done that so geography key and let's call the customers title first name middle and last name let's about it finish so that's it for customer we are not going to create any hierarchy for customer as such because this would be an immediate intermediate table for us intermediate dimension as such so we leave it here and we go on to our cube so for the cube structure what we got to do is let's add cube dimension let's add customer let's add geography so once we are done next what we do is we have to go to the dimension usage now if we take a look the customer uh, or any of the them look quite clear so customers says we have a direct relation be between the fact internet sales with the help of the customer key so and that's what uh, this relationship says it's pretty much very clear now but there is for geography we do not have any uh, particular relationship with fact internet sales although we have seen we can derive the geography with the help of a referenced uh, dimension so let's go and, and let's add relationship so what we do is we have regular referenced many to many and the rest of them so for now we use referenced and as an intermediate dimension we got to use our customer dimension and we, we have to select the geography key as the reference and the intermediate dimension across now what we come across is a materialized option so by default this is selected now if uh, if I have to explain this it is the relationship between the fact records you know uh, for when when a referenced uh, relationship is materialized what we have to uh, what we get is the relationship between the fact records and the members of the referent dim reference reference dimension become part of the cube's physical storage structure as such so it improves your query performance you know but it may cause the cube to take uh, longer uh, to process so we have to make we have to uh, be aware of that that the records will be physically uh, will be present in the physical storage structure there and uh, in in case we uncheck that although the relationship uh, will be uh, ascertained by uh, ssas but uh, when the query uh, when we try to drill through uh, the query will take a longer time to derive the aggregated values of the members so that is something that your materialize uh, checkbox uh, means so just take a note of that we say okay so you can see that between geography and fact internet sales we have the customer uh, dimension which is acting as a referenced dimension here so this is uh, where uh, how you s you use snowflake uh, dimension to cover up so let's uh, we are all set now so let's process our queue
let's go to the browser now reconnect and clear results so if I were to have sales amount for geography so that is what I get based upon we have we have used in the geography we have region so uh, let me clear this up again and let's use sales amount on the region hierarchy so and for the product as well let's use product by category so as you can see you get the details of each product by the location and the cities uh, and the customer I mean uh, the customer uh, dimension is acting as an intermediate reference dimension so basically the hidden fact uh, or hidden information that we can derive is the product uh, bikes for uh, customers have pr purchased products bikes uh, in Australia in Brisbane and the sales value was so and so so that's that's something that's the um, uh, information that we uh, get in this uh, drill through so that that would be an example of reference dimension and, and uh, how you would align that in, into your cube development all the rest I mean when we have a direct uh, foreign key relationship like we have for the rest of them like we have for product with the fact table it's called regular regular dimension so it's it's a, a star schema uh, dimension and fact modeling so I hope uh, this uh, blog would clear your uh, understanding on the snowflake dimension and how we can align the reference dimension in uh, getting the measured values against them and how we can uh, configure the same on SSAs. Thank you friends till we meet next time. Bye.